Hey adventurers, there seemed to be not much uh, on the net about uh, gearing, motorcycle gearing and changing sprockets. There was a few really complicated videos and a few shit ones. So just thought I'd do my own uh, quick one because I know that a lot of younger riders uh, or new riders uh, considering changing sprockets, probably it's a bit, a little bit daunting at first glance, but I'm just gonna show you that it's quite simple to work out what changing a sprocket is going to do to your speed for a given RPM because really that's that's what we care about right we sort of we know that uh, increasing the sprocket on the back uh, will give us more or make it feel like we've got more power and more torque which are, you know, effectively we have got more torque uh, taken to the back wheel but because of gearing but uh, we, might, we, we might think that our bike's revving too hard at 100 kilometers per hour or 60 miles per hour and we want to we want to cut those revs back uh, because we do a lot of touring or hey we're crawling around the bush and you know it's a bit chunk 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 at low speed and we, we want to get some rpms up so uh, just going to show you a bit of quick math uh, to show how that's quite easily uh, you're, you're easily able to calculate that so first thing you need to do is count your teeth on your sprocket so you need to remove the sprocket cover which I've done here uh, it's pretty easy. Uh, you can put a mark on a tooth uh, like this. I can see it. I don't know if you can. Uh, and then we can just rotate you know, and count the teeth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, until we get back to that, that mark. I know that this is 1742 uh, on the KTM. So same again. Fi find a spot where you can, where you can see the teeth. Uh, put a mark somewhere. This teeth is going to be my first first um, the last one that I count so then we can go one two three four five and and so on until we get round to uh, 46 47 oh there you go so anyway let's uh, go have a look at the maths okay so here we are up, up on the table we've got uh, some various sprockets here we've got a 43 a 44 and a 45 two three -er and we've got a 15 and a 16 front uh, the KTM was a 17 uh, 42 uh, when you make sure you actually count the teeth on your sprocket because this particular one has 45 a C45 written there but it's actually a 44 tooth sprocket so you know, maybe don't believe whatever number you see written on there I actually count them so we want to know what's going to happen if we maybe maybe let's just we're going to put this sprocket on uh it's a 16 tooth front so we're going to end up with 1642 well you know this nothing's happened here easy 17 and 16 so we can just divide the smaller number by the bigger one 16 divided by 17 and we've got you know if we multiply it by 100 to get a percentage we've got 94 90 4.1 percent the 17 on 16 so at a given rpm uh, our speed will change by you know that that's six percent or 5.9 percent so if we were doing 4,000 let, let's say this was 4,000 at 100 this at 94 so at 4,000 uh, we're now doing 94 kilometers per hour we've, we've slowed down uh, our we're, we've got a higher revving bike right uh, if we change the rear sprocket uh, larger so we can go maybe 17 45 you now we'll pick the pick the biggest difference is three to three teeth difference there then you know we, we divide smaller number again 42 on 45 that gives us you know 93.3 percent uh, so I mean gearing everything's based on percentages uh, you just have to make sure you get the the numbers in the do the multiplications in the right order so now at 4,000 RPM, we're doing 93.3 kilometers per hour or miles per hour, whatever your, whatever sort of numbers you're working in. 
Yeah, so in the same way we could say, well, if we're keeping our speed the same, you know, what does our RPM change? And it's the percentage is exactly the same. So, you know, that's 6 or well, 5.9% change uh, in the in the difference between these so uh, all we're doing is saying that at a hundred this one is changing by you know the the, the opposite the 5.9 percent so 4,000 rpm divided by 0 0.941 is 42 250 so we've by changing the front sprocket one tooth we've gained 250 rpm uh, by changing the rear sprocket three teeth uh, 4000 divided by 0.933 at 100 so you know changing three on the back and one on the front is pretty pretty similar thing to do uh, now this becomes useful when we say yeah but I want to know how many teeth do I need to change because I want to drop 500 rpm at 500 rpm at 100 kilometers per hour so let's go 1742 is 4000 at 100 kph MPH, whatever numbers you want to work in, numbers are numbers. Uh, and now we want only 3500 to equal 100 kph. Well, we need the percentage difference here, so let's go 3500 on 4000 is, you know, that's 87.5% of the, of the RPMs. So we need to find a ratio either in the rear sprocket or the front sprocket to get 87 and a half. Well, we can be a bit more accurate by changing the 42, right? There's more numbers to play with. So maybe we want, I don't know, let's try uh, 30, I don't know, what, 38 or something? So 38, we want this, uh, what was that, 100 minus 87.5, you know, 12 and a half percent. We want that 12 and a half percent so 38 on 42 is 90 so we need a bit more maybe 37 37 on 42 88 well that's pretty pretty close hey let's go one more 36 on 42 85.7 so it's somewhere between a 36 and a 37 tooth so if we go 36 tooth, 17, 1736 is going to drop our RPM uh, by 4000 times 0.857, 3428. We're going to be doing 3430 RPM. So Hopefully, that's useful. You can now decide, uh, I want to drop up 500 RPM, I want to gain 500 RPM, uh, you know, when I'm going slow in the bush, I want, to, I want to drop 500 RPM when I'm up out on the freeway, play with your sprockets. Uh, instead of buying half a dozen different sprockets, playing trial and error, a quick, basic bit of maths, and you can work out what size sprocket you need to buy. So. Hopefully that helps a few of you guys, uh, and if it didn't, well, tough. <laughs> catch you later. Catch, catch you later. See ya. Don't talk to talk to.